This is WTV's Jennifer Hernandez with this week's edition of Real Talk. Today we're going to hit the halls and ask students about March Madness, April Fool's edition. What do you think of Zion Richardson's performance for Duke this year? Um, he been going off. I mean, he's going crazy, I think. What are your thoughts on Zion Richardson's performance at Duke this year? I think he's a pretty good basketball player. I don't really like watch him pretty much, but... Based on Liberty Girls basketball state run this year, Coach Reedy will be taking over coaching at SMU for the rest of NCAA tournament. What are your thoughts? Do you think he deserves this promotion? Uh, yes, because he's a pretty good coach, and I think they'll do really good for basketball with him as a coach. Based on the Liberty Girls basketball team state run this year, Coach Reedy will be taking over coaching for SMU for the rest of the NCAA tournament. What are your thoughts? Do you think he deserves this promotion? Um. I mean, yeah, I, I think he does. He's done a great job with the girls' basketball. Um, I think he does need to move up. How do you feel that the University of Texas made the tournament this year despite only winning one game? Do you think they deserve a spot? No. Why? Because if you only win one game, what's the point? Like, you're going to lose first round. And... How do you feel that the University of Oklahoma made the tournament this year despite only winning one game all year? Do you think they deserve the spot? Yeah, of course I think they deserve a spot. Um, first of all, it's OU, you know, Boomer Nation. Um, but, I mean, I think regardless of only winning that one game, I think they did good overall. They they went 19-13 and 13 overall in the record, so I think they still deserve it. How do you feel that the University of Texas is in the tournament this year despite only winning one game? Do you think they deserve the spot? Um, I personally don't think they deserve it because they didn't put as much effort into it, so I I don't think they should deserve to play because... Wofford beat Seton Hall for the first round. What do you think of Davis O'Brien's 44-point performance for Wofford? Um, I think that's crazy because, like, 44 points is, like, a lot in college. Um, to even score, like, 20 points is, like, a lot. So, I mean, I think that's, like, that's, like, kind of unbelievable that he scored that much. Did you see Wofford beat Seton Hall in the first round? Uh, yeah. What do you think of Davis O'Brien's 44-point performance? I think he played really well, and he made a lot of shots. Yeah. This has been WTV's Jennifer Hernandez for this week's edition of Real Talk.